In this video, as part of the series of digital citizenship, we're going to look at an application on the web called Custodio. The first thing you need to do is create your own account. So fill in the details here and then you can get a free account. And then click Get Started. Now I've set up an account already for my daughter. So this is the account that I'll be using. And as you can see here, it gives you an active summary of what's going on with what my daughter is actually doing at the current time. As we scroll down, we can actually see the different applications that my daughter's actually using. And we can see the search activity that they've done. And as you can see here, the different websites that my daughter has actually accessed. We haven't got any social activity at the moment because Facebook is not set up. My daughter's too young to have Facebook. So now we're going to go into social activity. You can track the Facebook activity of your child. Now, as I said, we haven't got Facebook set up for our children, so we won't see any indication of what's going on here. But now we can go to web activity. And in web activity, we can see exactly what web pages is actually being viewed. And we can see the time and the date that that's actually happened. So here we can see all the different web pages that she's looked at. And here is a timeline of everything that's actually happened. So it's a very detailed timeline of what's going on. As you scroll down, it will load more and more of the timeline. So let's have a look at activity timeline now. So along here, we can see different applications that are being used. So Chrome was actually used on this app. And we can see the different browsing history and what applications is being used on the computer. We can filter by different activities here. So whether it's a questionable activity, whether it's web activity, what the applications are. So we can have a look and be more specific on what applications and web activity your child is doing. You've also got this option at the top here of doing calls and SMS and connecting your phone to this system. And finally, the location update. So it will give you a good location of what is happening that's specific for uh, mobile devices. Now this last tab, we can tell, we can actually categorize what we want our children to be viewing on the internet. So if we want technology blocked, we can. And you can see there, it automatically blocks all the known ones. And we can block whatever we want from that list. There's different options here on the page that you can actually use. If you have more than one child, you can add your extra children here. So you can have, you can keep a track of multiple children. And then you can add devices as well. So you can actually add computers and mobile devices. Now there is a cost to this, but you do get a free trial. So it's worth having a go and trying. And if you feel it is what you want, then you can upgrade. By clicking on your account, you can look at the different settings that you've got for your Custodio account. That's a very brief outline of what Custodio could do. It's a very good application and it will give you a lot of control and monitor what your children are doing.